Today is a great feast, actually. The feast of the precious, most precious blood of our divine Lord. Um, it's a feast that was instituted in the 19th century uh, to encourage, certainly, devotion to the Holy Eucharist. The Holy Eucharist is, of course, both the precious body the, the, and the precious blood. And therefore, uh, the commemoration of the precious blood goes straight uh, to the heart of the Catholic religion. On the cross, our Lord shed his blood. And at the Mass, the blood is transubstantiated from the wine. The wine, what begins Mass at wine, as wine, um, after the consecration, is no longer wine. It tastes like wine, it looks like wine, it will weigh the same weight as wine, but it isn't any longer wine. It's just the appearances of wine, but underneath, behind the appearances, is the blood of Christ. And the blood is shed by Christ again with every true Mass. The blood sh Christ again sheds His blood, His precious blood. St. Paul says, without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins. It's because Christ died on the cross and shed His blood for us that you and I have a chance of getting to heaven. It's with, his, with the water and blood that He purchased the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church came into existence at the very moment that Christ died upon the cross, shedding his blood. The water represents baptism, the blood represents the Eucharist. The blood of our Divine Lord, the most precious blood of our Lord, is at the heart of the Catholic religion, of our religion. And if it's not shed, if that blood had not been shed, there would be no remission of our sins. If you and I go to confession, and God forgives us our sins, the remission of our sins, the forgiveness of our sins, is thanks to the precious blood, is thanks to the passion of our Lord, to the shedding of His blood. It's the blood, the shedding of our Lord's blood, which gives to confession, the, the, the sacrament of confession, its power to obtain from God the forgiveness of our sins. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Today there are fewer and fewer valid Masses. With the, with the Society of Pius X, a certain number of good Masses has come back into the world, but the number of good Masses is dying down in the mainstream Church, and it risks eventually dying down also in the Society. There are fewer and fewer priests in the world as a whole, fewer and fewer Masses, less and less shedding of our Divine Lord's blood at Mass, and yet the sins are piling up. There's a, the, 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 the precious, the blood being shed for our sins is dropping at mass. The sins are climbing. There's going to be, a, there is already a severe imbalance, a lack of balance. The sins are far too many for the few masses. And therefore the blood, my dear friends, is going to have to be shed in the streets. And that's what's coming especially in the big cities. Imagine what would happen now if the government could no longer honor the food stamps. Imagine what would happen if some of those crowds in the big cities today were began, to, began starving. They will kill for a sandwich. The blood is going to flow. We've seen it. We've seen the moments when the supermarkets have no more food, the shelves are stripped, there's some crisis. And the people come in and they just strip the, strip the shelves when there's nothing to eat. And that's going to happen. It's going to happen because there's such disorder in society today. The police still control the streets, but only just. The crowds, the wild crowds, we saw riots recently in Baltimore. The, wild, the crowds are all ready to let loose. They're going to be, and if they're starving, if, if, the, if for whatever reason, if law and order break down, and the government can't hold law and order, there's going to be blood flowing in the streets. And that's what would be necessary. We've committed these sins, we've become a very corrupt people. The Western nations are all very corrupt, very godless, 
turning their backs on God more and more. The disorder is there. It's just the police forces with their wagons howling through the night. In the big cities, you can hear them. The, 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 the police wagons, as they're chasing some criminal or other, one guesses, whatever it is that the police are having to do. But it's a very close thing that they've, they're still maintaining law and order. They're preparing to bring in the army. The army is being prepared to, for, for martial law. That's how great, uh, that's how serious it is. In, in principle, the army is forbidden. The army in the American history, the army has always, has always been forbidden to take part in civilian life. But it's, it, it's being prepared because it's got to be prepared because there's going to be nothing else to keep law and order. And the army will shoot. The blood, it will blood again. We are, standing in, we are standing close in front of a very dangerous and bloody future. And it's because there's, there's, there, there are too few masses where the precious blood of our divine Lord is shed for the remission of sins. The men, our blood, our own blood is going to have to flow. Pray, my dear friends, that it will be the blood of martyrs. Pray that there will be enough Catholics gladly shedding their blood for our Lord's sake, for the sake of the faith, for the sake of the church, for the sake of God, for the sake of... because that's necessary for a martyr. Pray that the shedding of blood will not be all completely useless and just do nothing except send, send, send souls down to hell. Pray that the shedding of blood, when it comes, will include the shedding of many martyrs' blood. Today we have martyrs in Syria. The Christians being persecuted and killed by the Muslims. The Muslims are, are savages. They, they're certainly not Christians. And they, they hate the Christians. They're killing the Christians in other Middle Eastern countries as well. And, and there's going to be a lot more of this. The, the, the Muslims in France are very numerous. They're preparing for civil war. They want to take over France. If they don't do it by blood in the near future, they mean to do it by their birth rate, by having many more children than the decadent corrupt whites. France is in a terrible state because France has turned its back on God. If France, if the French people still had the Catholic faith, if they were still fervent Catholics attending Mass um, with, with numbers of priests, with numbers of good priests, celebrating the true mass, France would, would not be, have this invasion of Mohammedans, to, of Muslims today. Italy also being invaded. England, a large number of Muslims. Germany the same. The, the, ones, the once great Western nations, which all, sent, at least centuries ago, were Catholic, and some more, much more recently Catholic, all of these nations now turning their backs on God, Without the blood of our Lord being shed for the remission of sins, they're all asking for the blood to flow in the streets. What we're going to see in the next few years, my dear friends, is frightening. But it's in God's hands, and if we are the friends of God, God can protect us, those we wish to protect, how He likes, when He likes, where He likes. He is God. Some Catholics he won't protect any more than he's protecting the Christians in Syria today. He's letting them be martyred because many of them will that way go to heaven, straight to heaven. So, think of blood, my dear friends. Think of blood. Satan causes sacrifices of blood, often blood of animals. The police force in many parts of the country could tell you how much blood sacrifice of animals goes on in, in satanic rituals. And then at the, at, the, at, the, at the height of these rituals is human sacrifice. There, is, there are satanic human sacrifices. It's, we don't know about it. Again, it's because blood must flow. Blood is life. My dear friends, today is the feast of the precious blood, the most precious blood of our divine Lord. Let us uh, adore our Lord, and since the blood is part of, his, part of Him, and He is man and God, 
then we are we are we can very well also adore the precious blood. Let us during this mass of the precious blood think of adoring the precious blood during mass during the shedding of that blood with the consecration and with the consumption of the blood by the priest in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you.